What is up gamers? Welcome to Binding of Isaac Sacred Dreams. What's in our first treasure room? Mulligan is an incredible start. Today we're playing as the Dream Guard. This is a mod that just came out today and I have been ever so excited for it and it's finally here and it's mega quality dude. So this character is super unique. They have a high tier rate, 3.33 high speed but low damage. They have a sand pouch, pocket sand, yeah! And when you pocket sand enemies, you apply a status effect to them that slows them down and they take more damage. And when you shoot them, that bar Starts going up slowly but surely. I hit a 1% for the Book of the Dead. Hello. I hope I can get that. Once that bar is fully built all the way up, we can actually buff our sand pouch to do different things. So with this in mind, we gotta spam it as much as possible and see what different upgrades we can receive. Again, I really need a bomb because I do want that Book of the Dead. Is this pill good? Oh, that's exactly what I needed. Uh-oh. <laughs> a little bit unfortunate, but definitely worth for the Book of the Dead. Now, I don't know who was in the studio picking the sound effects for the sound that plays when you hit a uh, sand blasted enemy but whoever came up with this sound they were onto something this is incredibly satisfying to play something about the little jingle just sounds good in my ears like oh my god that sounds perfect we gotta use sand pouch as much as possible and try and kill the enemies there you go it looks like your familiars can also proc the sand pouch up meter going up all that really matters is that the enemy dies while they have the somnolence effect which is uh the effect name for the sand pouch moment Boom. Might as well do that, you know what I mean? Like, even if they're 1 HP, just go ahead, sand pouch them real quick, and get your extra meter in. We are halfway done. I imagine by the next floor, we're gonna get a full meter. And by then, you guys are gonna see the different things that we can get. I don't know what any of them are. I just know that when you get the full bar, that counter goes from 0 to 1. And then when you go to the next floor, you can choose to buff yourself. Does the sand pouch somnolence work on a boss? And if it does, this is incredible because it's Duke of Flies. We can farm like crazy, I think. It does. Let's have a Duke... No, 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 dudes. <laughs> My bonies are way too powerful. They chunked his health. Duke Fly stood no chance. Okay, that's fine. We can get more charges later. I think what's more important right now uh, is that I don't use Book of the Dead because I'd rather take damage and charge my sand pouch more than anything. I want to focus on uh, buffing the Dream Guard as much as possible because this character is sick. I need this Dark Bony to die immediately. He is stealing all of my stuff. Actually, that was such a sick sand pouch. Maybe I can forgive you. Treasure room above us. I'm thinking maybe a key in here. No, some black sacks though. Oh, that guy just wanted to die. <laughs> he saw how much I was disappointed in him and he realized that uh, uh, the better way to go is what he did. <laughs> okay, sick. Speed up pill. Random pill, I don't know. Infested, good. Now we can more focus on farming the sand pouch as much as possible. You can see the major damage difference that you get when you have that sand pouch somnolence effect going. It's crazy good. And that sound effect, man. Someone was cooking in the studio. I am not kidding. There you go. We are about to hit one. I'm sure we'll hit one by the end of this room. Or probably the floor, not this room. Yeah, we're gonna need one more horse pill. Uh, this is honestly a good pill. We can use it in here. I don't think I've ever heard the horse pill version of that. That's kind of sick. And we're about to hit the one. There you go. So our meter refreshes. We get an even more satisfying sound effect. Again, whoever was in the studio knew what they were doing. <laughs> this character already feels incredibly powerful just by base. Lead pencils. Nice. Yeah, let's take this. Just by me naturally playing the game, the character already feels incredibly strong. Not overpowered. Incredible sprite art, by the way. But just really fun to play. Being able to deal more damage at the risk of, you know, getting in close within melee range, maybe risking your life like that. That's always going to be a fun play style. Hopefully I don't get hit here. I do not want to lose out on my deal chance. I don't know if I really want to go Devils. I don't got the HP for it. I'd rather go Angels. But it's important that I get this deal so I can even go Angels. <laughs> there you go. I was not able to sand pouch him. Oh, that kind of sucks, but it's not the biggest deal. I think we just take this and we'll go Angel Rooms. Let's see what this next thing has to do for us. Aha, there we go. From here on out, I literally don't know what any of this is. Uh, let's see. Pouch Toss changes your sand pouch attack to a ranged attack. Wow, okay. Makes Somnolence slightly longer and slightly decreases sand pouch's recharge speed. Okay. Swift Steps changes your sand pouch attack to a dash that makes you invincible Mars style. Okay. Makes Somnolence much shorter. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. Increases sand pouch's recharge speed. Oh. And then what is this? Sparkling Sad. Enemies with Somnolence will take damage over time. And it makes it last slightly longer. Does not affect sand pouch's recharge speed. I kind of like the idea of a ranged attack that makes things last longer and decreases the recharge speed. Because wouldn't that just mean that I get more sand pouch? And doing that would mean that I get more buffs. And that's kind of what we're looking for. What is this though? A Somnoleptic Shrine. Adds plus one notch to your inventory at the cost of one point. Notch? 
Ah, I bet those are those like little squares. Can be destroyed with bombs when inactive to earn some sand meter progress. Okay, well, I'm definitely not going to add a notch. These are the notches. I access them by pressing control. I imagine this works like Tainted Isaac. You can only have a maximum amount of buffs. Uh, I don't need to get rid of a point for that though because I don't even have one. So let's do this and get more sand meter. Risk reward type B. That did not work for me. Nice. <laughs> Uh, and let's change it to a ranged attack. Let's see what's going on with this. Whoosh Blam. So how does how does this work? Cool as hell. It's like a halo now. My Somnolence will also last a little bit longer. We'll get more value out of it, and so we'll get even more meter. This is already so sick of a character. Nice. Right, get that stun in. Gonna come from the behind. Hit him good. Recharge. Hit more sand. This character is so fun, dude. I'm not really sure what that is supposed to be. I'm sure it's supposed to be something, but to me, it just looks like Minecraft raw chicken, to be honest. This <laughs> is I I gotta save myself. There you go. There's sand pouch being clutch as hell. Pausing the enemies in their track. This is gonna be a large uh, sand pouch as well. I got so into how much damage I was doing. I got so lazy and got hit, but we're okay. Oh my god. When I say that this is a satisfying character, I truly mean it. Look at what I'm playing right now. This character is designed to be satisfying. We did nab ourselves a key. Let's go to the treasure room again. Kind of struggling for pickups today. Uh, for no reason other than I'm unlucky, but I'm sure that will change eventually. I could go for <laughs> Nah, dude, Bone Spur's way better. Nice, Rainmaker done. I love a Tears Up for us. And then let's go Mirror Dimension. They do start with a very high tier rate, so we're already at 4.67. I do think you would want to hope for more damage than tears as this character, because I feel like you're just going to naturally come across all the amount of tier rate that you want anyway. I have a feeling the second Rainmaker might instantaneously die to my sheer power and will. This guy does not stand a chance whatsoever. Goodbye, dude. There you go. Finish him off with the sand pouch. We get a ton of sand meter for that. Divorce papers. There's that tier rate I was talking about again. Actually, I was incorrect. It seems as if this character not only starts with more uh, tier rate than usual, they actually can go past the cap. Unless I have an item that goes past the cap, I don't think I do. So maybe their natural tier rate is like 6 or something, we'll see. But that's really cool then. We did become rich beyond our wildest dreams, so I'd like to check out the shop before we move on. And a humbling bundle will close out this entire run for this entire floor, and it's gonna bode very well for the future. So now I'm curious, what's going on over here? We got Coma Cloud. Sand Pouch's attacks will spawn a Coma Cloud. This cloud halts Somnolence's duration and stun time when it collides with enemies. Ooh. It makes Somnolence slightly shorter and it slightly decreases the Sand Pouch's recharge speed. Sparking sand, enemies with Somnolence will take damage over time. Oh, we saw this one before. And Swift Step, I see. I like the left one, the idea of the left one. Again, keeps enemies sleepy. And then since I am not using this, I, I guess I could keep it here until the very end. There's no reason to blow up the shrine, I don't think, like early on, you know? Unless it disappears. I don't know why I assumed it would disappear. I could probably just leave it there until the end of the floor uh, for when I feel like it's necessary. I thought I was going to take damage. Instead, that guy got frozen in time. It should just stay here, right? Oh, I was incorrect. Okay. Uh, never the mind, I guess. You do have to make a split second decision on what you want to do. Okay, that's cool. We get slipped rib in the treasure room. This is just a basic orbital. It's another bone thing, and I swear to god I don't really know how this is happening, but I'm gonna accept it. We are the bone dream guy. There's the coma cloud. That didn't really matter too much, uh, considering they die instantly, but it's probably gonna be very good for bosses. In fact, we are already up another meter. I'm starting to notice that we're getting more and more meter faster and faster. So at this point, I might actually uh, lock in the shrine and give myself an extra slot for a point. Anything? No mushroom? That's okay. I will check out the dice room. I don't know about the curse room though because I'm gonna lose my what in the hell? <laughs> My, my rotten heart. Okay, thank you. This is big. That's humongous, actually. What a satisfying character. I cannot express it enough. What's in here? It's Peeperton. Uh, you are not surviving. I'm gonna go crazy. And we can see the damage multiplier is so good when you have the sand on him. Somnolence is insane. And look how much sand I got from that. If you just apply sand and have a crazy tier rate, it, it's over for the enemy. I have 1.75 damage and I just accomplished that. We also got an angel room with Genesis. That's broken as hell. <laughs> I think I want to know what Genesis does with this character. Like, does it affect our sand pouch whatsoever? And it's also just a really broken item, so let's take it. And we'll use it at the end of the entire run. See how this pans out for us. Let's get one more buff, or probably just use the shrine. 
on to dank depth what do we have we have deep sleep so these are different increases somnolence duration by two times oh my god that sounds really good slightly increases sand pouches recharge speed this is very long hold on oversomnia applying somnolence to enemies that are already affected by it will give them an oversomnia stack does that mean that this would synergize with the coma cloud that i have that's supposed to apply somnolence i don't know we'll see each stack increases damage dealt to the enemy and their sand immunity after the effect expires makes somnolence much longer oh and slightly decreases sand pouches recharge speed and finally we have a spindle spikes sand pouches spikes will spawn deadly spikes does not affect the duration and it does not affect the recharge speed this seems like it has the most scaling and it was also the coolest but do i want to uh i'm gonna do this okay dream snatcher oh unlocks hell yeah and when i walk out walk back in this shrine is gonna be gone so i'm not gonna be able to take advantage of it but i can't blow it up for now so whatever i'm thinking if i play this correctly and i do well enough with the sand pouch on the next floor i might have two charges which means that i could spend one for the shrine and then have an extra slot which i could spend for an extra ability. This uh, implies that I do very well with this. I could be wrong, but let's just really try here. I don't know if I'm also applying Oversomnia with the cloud, or if that's like not working whatsoever in my favor. I, I guess I could test. Let's just like have these guys, there you go, have Somnolence applied to them. And then Somnolence lasts very, very long, right? So if I do this, is that is that Oversomnia? Was I late? I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Again, that's Oversomnia. You see that? That little thing down there? So the comb does not work with it. Can I get an extra stack in? Okay. And I imagine I just make them explode at that point. So that's going to be very good for bosses, I imagine. Very long bosses, like a Hush or a Mega Satan. That's where you want Oversomnia to pay out. And that is a good upgrade, in my opinion. Purely because, yeah, Wrath is not going to survive. But someone like Blue Baby might survive a, a couple uses of the Sand Pouch. And at that point, you just multiply your damage like crazy. Another treasure room. Today, we get the D1. That is an okay item, but it's just not too crazy. It could do some things i mean maybe we'll find a, a use for it somewhere on the floor but i'm definitely gonna keep genesis on me for the time being guys bad situation <laughs> creep has been destroying me recently these brain enemies are going crazy not okay with the situation i am very okay with this though holy call they call the satisfying police <laughs> That was incredible, I love that. And here is everything I've ever wanted. Uh, let's take the how to jump. Did we get the Bible? And then the Bible will just give us everything else for free. Book of Secrets, sure. I already world carded though. Anarchist. And I really like the idea of Book of Revelations, but mainly just for the uh, soul heart it's gonna provide for me. I might not be able to land this extra meter. I feel like maybe the meter goes down slower or it goes up slower, sorry, when you have one charge already. Maybe this is placebo, but I feel like I am not getting as much as I just did. Potential skill issue, I suppose. I'll probably just lock in the uh, the shrine to see what that does for us. Let's go to the shop very nice and very quick. Magic skin. You never get to see this in a shop whatsoever. Very surprising to see you here. I think the item quality weight for magic skin showing up in like the shop is mega low. Like we're talking treasure room spin down levels, but no use for it. No, thank you. Moving on. I like the idea of the Oversomnia for like late game bosses. And so that is where the uh, Tainted Isaac control mechanic comes into play, this thing. I, I think we can just get rid of the Coma Cloud. So maybe I don't even need to do the Shrine thing just yet, you know? Maybe we could just replace the Cloud instead. Potentially increase my Sand Pouch uh, charge rate a little bit better because it's pretty slow. I don't know why I thought decreased charge rate meant that it would be faster. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the opposite. Increased charge rate would be faster because it, it charges faster so let's look for one of those but let's just take care of the uh the war fight really quickly this will be no problem just go back to my spam strats here we go absolutely no problem whatsoever my somnolence lasts so long that it lasted that entire fight i actually almost do have two charges i could fight the uh, mob challenge room yeah that's worth then we'll lock in the double charge and, and then we'll see what's going on, on the next floor okay well uh let's evaluate let's go down and see what's going on Next floor, I have one charge, so I will get my dream shop. Shooting stars, sounds like an incredible ability. Sand pouch attacks will shoot stars. Okay, that's very straight to the point. Increases sand pouches, recharge speed, and it makes it last a little bit shorter. Dream warrior, increases damage dealt to the enemies with somnolence. It does not affect the duration and does not affect the recharge speed. So that's just literally like a damage up. And sand plosion. <laughs> I might just get sand plosion for the entire title, dude. That sounds sick. Changes your 
sand pouch attack to an explosion. It decreases the sand pouch's recharge speed. So increases recharge speed means that it would go faster, right? The star sounds cool. I'm, I'm gonna do the stars, whatever. Wait, I can't? Oh, oh I gotta pick, right. I, I believe it was the second one that was kind of like the cloud that I don't care about too much. Get it? Shooting star. You know, I actually did not until just now, so thank you for explaining it to me. And then I can't actually do this yet because I don't actually have the one charge. <laughs> uh, let's just leave it alone. I guess I could blow it up. Give me sand. It, do it does not. Oh, I'm so dumb. I need two. There you go. All right. I am bozo for that. You need two to, to blow it up fully. Oh my goodness, that is sick. Okay, this is way cooler than what I was running. We can double check and see if we can go all the way up to uh, a two charges now that we have a, a full floor available to us. And if I'm lucky, then we can do our plan that we wanted to do earlier where we uh, pay off the shrine and also get an extra ability. Let's go vault. Hey, this is all good stuff. I really wanted soul hearts as well. So I can feel comfortable going to that curse room later on. Here's my treasure room and it oh! this also works. I mean, if you just want to give me tech X, so I'm gonna I'll take it. <laughs> Anything cool? I just got my deal chance for murdering someone. Hey, that's incredible. I didn't really think it would pay out. I was like, I forget that we have Genesis. When we get to the very end game, we want to pop that. So let's do this. Let's get the sand pouch ready. Boom. And then how much damage are you gonna do? We well, you know what's hilarious is we were doing more without Tech X. <laughs> that is that is funny. I don't even know how we managed to do that. I mean, can you blame me for taking Tech X? I don't know how, but it's actually scaling better. When I had maximum tier rate and I was just shooting like crazy, it just dealt more damage. That's okay though, I'm not disappointed. It's a learning experience, I just need her to stomp down one time so I can hit her. Or this, this works too. It definitely do be doing damage, I just gotta be a bit careful. Noise, no deal surprisingly. I'd like to get a damage up today. And let's figure out what we want to buy on this next floor. Okay, we are here with Swift Step. This is the dash. The sparkling sand is uh, damage over time. And Fairy Trail. This is new? Sand Pouch's attacks will leave a sand trail that slows down and damages grounded enemies. It does not affect the speed or duration. These all seem like whatever. I think I want to see what this does. Boom. So I pay it off and there you go. I do get an extra slot. Noise. And you can still buy. Okay. Can you blow it up after? <laughs> you? <laughs> can I pull off like the greatest scam in Isaac history. Get my slot and then blow it up. I'd rather not risk it, but I'll test it later for you guys. Uh, yeah, instead, let's just lock in more sand pouch and we will be able to get an extra ability later on. I am very certain now looking at how fast that it's charging uh, that you just get more charge when you're at zero charges instead of one. Did I just use the Emperor? I might. I mean, I'll come back to full clear and get more sand, but I don't know if I'm going to make it to the boss without taking red heart damage. So let's just do this. Sand pouch real quickly and then just get our damage all the way in. Nice, good stuff. Incredible amounts of damage. We get PJs. So I feel cozy and better. And then... Oh! What a god room! Hello? I mean, sacred is the obvious play here. <laughs> I can go for an angel. More so, I just want to deal damage and get uh, more stuff going. Holy moly. What the hell, fellas? This went real crazy real fast. <laughs> Oh, can you hear how much it's proccing now? Now that it has the homing and it's ticking constantaneously. We have hit satisfying levels of Binding of Isaac. All that you needed to do was find Tech X and uh, Sacred Heart naturally. By complete luck. It's as simple as that. <laughs> okay, have we seen these? Deep Sleep increases Somlin's duration by two times and increases the recharge speed. Dream Warrior is the damage up, and Swift Step increases the Sand Pouch's recharge speed uh, with the dash. Okay. At this point, I might just get one of these so that I can increase my speed so it charges faster, because that seems to be where I'm lacking. I like the idea of Deep Sleep. It's a slight increase, but I don't like the idea of it reducing my somnolence. It says much shorter, so I'm assuming it's a drastic change. So instead, I'll just get like the general DPS up, and now it should charge a little faster. <laughs> That's, that's a, that's a downgrade. I, I'm getting confused. <laughs> I'm getting majorly confused, actually. Uh, give me that sand. It does decrease or increase charge rate mean that it goes faster or slower? I am not keeping track. <laughs> I want it to go faster. I can't tell if it's getting faster anymore. That definitely seems slower, dude. 
Is there a maximum on the amount of like slots you can have is a question I have for myself. I thought the little slot would appear like to the right of my three slots, you know, kind of near the zero. Does not seem to be the case. It, it spawned below it. So that implies that you could probably get up to six, maybe even more, nine? I don't know. Obviously accounting for something like an R key, you know? I was willing to Genesis before, but now that I have Sacred Heart Tech X, it feels a lot less worth it. <laughs> I most definitely still will, but it's just something on my mind. I'm like, well, I'm gonna get rid of Tech X Sacred Heart random spawn. It wasn't even just that. I also got like a, a random Holy Mantle. All right, let's check the damage. Boom, apply it and go and melt them all the way down. A little sheep, unlocked, locked in. Let's go down. So what's going on in Sheol territory? There's Sparkling Sand for damage over time. Fairy Trail, which we saw before and spindle spikes should i use this as a way to get one more slot and then try and get one of these later on i think i will yeah let's give it this away uh, and then get one more and then we'll lock that in on the dark room whatever you know it decides to be wow that was insane to look at not to mention the sound effects went crazy okay we got one charge let's just go beat satan right now i don't think there's a reason to wait we can't wait for exactly four seconds though to blow up the fallen and then also toss this and then also just demolish you satan v2 is done satan v3 is here this guy will also last uh, no time whatsoever goodbye sleep pills has appeared i love that i'm getting unlocks here feeling like a fully fledged character let's go and see what's going on in the dark room let's also not forget the genesis and here we go we got oh this is new sandy what's this killing enemies with somnolence will spawn a fragile sandy familiar it attacks nearby enemies and applies somnolence in a small radius when it dies oh okay this increases sand pouch's recharge speed i'm almost certain this means that it will be slower but at this point i've also uh, committed to being slow as much as possible so whatever let's do it it's new check check lusty i'll take this more checking abaddon yes please we have a god build let's see what these little sandy familiars are doing are you here no oh there you are there you are hello so if i get up close are you gonna there you go i see deal somnolence damage very epic i love to see it more familiars are better we almost have beelzebub let's just clear out the dark room like crazy i think we are absolutely god at this point these familiars seem crazy as well i walk in a room and things are just applied with somnolence without me even seeing them them. Being able to passively buff yourself like that seems entirely insane. Yeah, look at that. I, I'm gaining more than I'm losing. I have an infinite amount. I'm, I'm self-sustaining. He's become too powerful. That was rough famine. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. <laughs> Wow, what a powerful character. It doesn't even matter that I'm getting hit at this point. There's the boss, but I still want a Genesis. Might I just do it right now? I want to see how this is going to work with, uh, you know, the Dream Guard. I, I don't know how this will work. Yeah, let's just do it. So, oh! wow, okay, so uh, we did learn some things. Immediately, yes, your character gets reset. I don't have any more sand pouch. <laughs> I'll take a wafer, uh, and then let's just take some good items. Synth oil, sure. This is damage. Uh, damo, please. Yeah, I, I mean, sure, why not, I guess. There you go, it's gonna apply to the glue. Oh, I didn't know this. I had no idea that this applies. That's crazy good, hello? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get way too many items here. This is maybe a bit too hard of a break. Oh my goodness. That's a new item? I can't even get over there. I'm stuck. Please help. Oh my god. Help, 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 help. I'm, I'm stuck. Guys. <laughs> How do I... Uh, I don't got the speed for this. I've been consumed by greed. Escape? If I escape, then I'm gonna... Ah, I'm gonna get booted out. This is a terrible scenario. I actually do not have the speed necessary to get out. There is zero counterplay to this. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. I, I just got destroyed. You're gonna boot me out, aren't you? Oh, no, we're good. Thank you. This... Is this Rackjet? Isn't Rackjet a character I never played? I saw it on the workshop a long time ago. I gotta do my research. Uh, it's new. It spawns a set of purchasable items and trinkets from a special pool each floor. Not gonna affect me. Money equals power and some extra stuff. Mulligan is back. I'll take this. Then of all of these, I'm gonna be real. I'm starting to get very confused. So please give me conjoined. I'll take a mulligan because I know this item's good. Piercing is cool. Uh, then I'm just gonna hope that I don't get stuck again and take some items here. <laughs> Dead eye is nice. Appreciate it. A little bit of squeezy action. This is becoming a bit too absurd for me. Unsure what's happening anymore. Oh my goodness. Uh, mom's eye? Fire mind? I, what am I dancing at? Satanic? I don't care about satanic. 
Give me the infamy. There's a D6! <laughs> I am about to break the freaking game without even trying. Note to self, if you ever get Damocles in Genesis room, just do it. There's Incubus. There, oh my god, there's Mutant Spider? Sh sh sure, give it to me. That's the wrong item. Please, please give me Mutant. I just want, I just want the Mutant Spider. Nope, that's the wrong one. Nope, that's the wrong one. Let me in! It's all gone wrong. There's a Diplopia. I cannot believe it. Do it. Whatever. Oh my god! What happened? <laughs> I- I am- fr I can't- this mutant spider is impossible to receive. I finally got it. There are two D6s. Is there anything good? Yeah, you know, there's also a Cricket's Head and another mutant spider just chilling over here for no reason. Oh, there's Hamo. I didn't even see this. Okay, good thing I took a second look. We were not done, by the way. Holy moly. I'm about to be done if I can't get out of this room. <laughs> Whatever, let's just hit it. I'm not dancing whatsoever. The music immediately stopped. World's worst reroll, apparently. <laughs> Crooked Penny. Crooked Penny. Crooked Penny. Crooked Penny. I don't care. I'm doing it. Boom. There, it's all gone. Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't know what happened. All I do know uh, is that Genesis definitely does not work with the Dream Guard. And that is knowledge gained. Epic. Back to the melee. My build sure is powerful though. No denying that. Two mutant spiders, a cricket's head. You saw, I took everything. Let's apply somnolence to you and then demolish you. Because this is now the most powerful build I have. Uh, did that say farting candle? Oh, <laughs> I thought, I, I mean, come on, you can't tell me it didn't look like farting candle. What an incredible mod and incredible character. GG's.